Morning guys, happy Easter to everybody. I hope you have a good one. So what I'm doing today is we've got a slow roast um, shoulder of lamb, Sunday dinner. So I'm just going to bring you down and show you how I'm going to prepare the lamb first. Right, so this is the shoulder lamb. We got it on the club card price. It was half price at Tesco's. We did get it a couple of weeks ago and it's been in the freezer and I defrosted it overnight. So that's all ready to go. What I'm going to put in with that, I'm going to put a couple of cloves of garlic in, some rosemary, some thyme, some chicken stock um, to go in the bottom because we want some lovely gravy with this later on as well. And we've got some salt and some pepper. Now I've set the oven at a 150 fan and I'm going to get this into the oven and just let it roast for about three, three and a half hours. It's just nice and slow. I'll bring it up and we'll get it prepared and get it in the oven. Right guys, so I'm getting it out of its plastic and I'm going to be using this today. It's a well used pot. Oh. So it's as easy as just a matter of putting your lamb in. And then I'm just going to put some chicken stock. Probably be about enough. Three cloves of garlic straight in there and some rosemary and some thyme. I only do one sprig of rosemary, I don't like it too strong. So just pop that in there. There we go. Put some salt. Wash my hands salt will be around you I mean you can stab this and put the garlic and everything in but I just want garlic as a subtle flavor and I don't want it too much there we go and then I'm just gonna pop the lid on pop this in the oven like I say for about three three and a half hours we'll pop out and see the grandkids give them their Easter eggs and when we come back I'll once it's cooked I'll take that out and then we'll put the Yorkshire puddings and everything in the oven after I've turned it up and heated it back up so right guys we'll see you later right guys so meat's still in the oven we're back from seeing the grandkids so the chips that we had left over from the fish and chips on Friday night I've just kept rinsing them the water off them and just kept them in the fridge she's going to make a little bit of mash out of that i've got some um cubed swede there to just do some mashed swede i'm going to do some roast carrots and i do fancy roast potatoes as well so i'm just going to do those we've still got mushy peas left off friday as well and the lamb and i'm going to do some yorkshire puddings right so i've parboiled the potatoes just let them steam off just a little bit there and I've just taken that out. I'm going to put the carrots in the same water as I boiled the potatoes in. Doesn't seem to be, see why there should be a waste. I've melted a little bit of lard in the bottom of the bowl. And I'm just going to put in about, about half a teaspoon of salt. And then what I do is I like to put the potatoes in there. And then just move them about get them coated and it also stops you having to bash them around as well so i have a tray here ready that's for my yorkshire puddings and just put the roast potatoes here and when the lamb comes out which will probably be mm, another half an hour nice just simple dish this nice simple sunday lunch and then once they come out, crank the heat up and get these in. And then it, everything will just about come together. I've done the mash there. That's just in a bowl. I'll warm that up in the microwave when it's time for dinner. I'm just about to um, mash the swede. And then we'll just about there. Oh, and I've also done my um, Yorkshire pudding mix there as well. That's all ready, just sitting there waiting to go in. The oven. So I've just brought the lamb out of the oven there, look. And it's nearly all cooked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the lid off and put it in for another half an hour just to crisp that fat layer up on the top. 
and while I'll do that is I'll turn the oven up ready for the roast potatoes and the Yorkshire puddings. Right, so I've just parboiled the carrots, just had them drain in there. Just pop them in there. I'm just going to spray them a little bit of oil. A little bit of salt. And black black pepper. little drizzle of runny honey. Just on them. If I can get it open. There we go. Just want to come out. There we go. Don't need a lot. Just to caramelise them all up. Little bits of potato in there. I'm going to use the potato water to parboil them. So we're just about set. They'll go in the oven with the roast potatoes and the um, Yorkshire puddings when I bring the, the lamb out, which is not long now. So we'll see you in a bit. Right, so I've just getting the lamb out of the oven now. Um, it's looking absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to let that rest. I've put the Yorkshire puddings and the roast potatoes and the roast carrots into the oven. Um, once the Yorkshire's are in, then you don't even have to really touch everything. That's I'm going to go and have, make myself a cup of coffee, sit down, allow this to rest, and then dinner will be just about done. Right, so a couple of weeks ago when I did a Sunday dinner, I did have some comments about having using gravy granules, which I've got in the cupboard and I love. But I just thought I'd show you the way my nana used to do hers. Now this is the, the juices left off the lamb. I've just strained it out because I didn't want the bits of rosemary and everything in there. I've added a little bit of water, just going to bring that up to the boil and then what I've got here is some leftover Yorkshire pudding mix. I've just added a dash of water so it's thinner mm. and so then what you do is, is you just pour that in. Alright, it thickens it up. And it thickens your gravy. Ah, I've never seen that done before. So it depends on how thick you want your gravy to how much you do but I'm going to put that on the back burner and just let that um, all mix in and let it boil down a little bit and there's your gravy. Right, so Ian's just going to carve off some of the meat, some of the lamb. Look at that look. Lovely jubbly. That's to be honest, we're ready for what I don't know. We haven't had anything at all. Starving today, actually. Have no, we haven't. And I'm ready for some what food. What time is it now? It is ten past two. Ten past two we've had not to eat yet, mm -hmm. so. Right, so I'm just going to leave Ian off to do that. Now if you just have a little look at the gravy now, see how much that's thickened up. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pop some um, mint sauce in there, just a couple of teaspoons, and then we've got one minty lamb gravy. Right, so I'll put them Yorkshire puddings back in just for two minutes, just to warm back through. Ooh. And that's the... Now that's the honey roast carrots. What we'll do is, I've already put some veggies on Ian's plate. Some carrots. There. Yorkshire pudding. How many of these do you want? Um, two, please. Two, because you've got a bit of mash there as well. Yeah. That was left over from them chips. Oh, that was good. Good Friday. I've seen the meat. Look, we've carved the meat and put loads in the gravy. Well, that's the meat that's left all this here. Carve some off. The bone came clean out. So that can be used, we might do a, a curry or something, or mm -hmm. later on in the week. Nothing worse in this house. Look at that lamb. Look at that. Whoa. I'm, I've tried this home, this different style gravy, and it is lovely. It really is. Bit of mint sauce in there. Right, there you go, that's my pans. Let's turn the oven off. Right. Okay, so. There we go. Let's have a go at this baby. And then Easter Sunday din dins. Exactly. 
Right, here we go. I'm trying the lamb first. You can see the steam coming off it, so be careful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at this. And guys. That is perfectly cooked. Soft lamb. The, the, I love lamb anyway. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't. I can't remember the last time if I've had shoulder. lamb shoulder. It's always a leg of lamb. That is just absolutely out of this world. With the mint gravy. So we've got a bit of mash. Mushy peas. Mmm. Mmm. That's the first time we've done them little Yorkshire's in them little tins, isn't it? Yeah. Not bad, are they? They're just Yorkshire little pie bread. tins, and I thought, well, there's only two of them. What's the point in making six? What? <laughs> what? Well, that's good. Right, try one of these glazed carrots. Or two, to be precise. Mmm. Oh, they're nice. Mmm. That's... Oof. Roast potato. Roast potato. Yeah, that will be hot. Yes, I know. Nice bit of roast potato. Bit of gravy on it. If I can get it on my fork. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, right, guys, thank you very much for watching. We're going to go and enjoy our dinner now. Banging. It's um. banging. Watch some TV for the rest of Easter Sunday. So whatever you are doing, I hope you have an absolutely fabulous yep. time. Yep. And make the most of your time of family. I'm back to work tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> right, see you later, guys. Bye.